Welcome, you scallywags, to the Blazing Sails tutorial. In this video, I will explain how to play like a true pirate. In the main menu, you can invite your mates to join your crew via the invite list. Of course, you can also play without the playmates party. After that, you can join the server or create your own game using the play button. Once you're in the server, you'll meet your crew in the pre-game. If you didn't invite your mates before joining the game, you'll be put in a crew automatically. When holding the F button, you will see a menu with the option to leave the crew if you're not the party leader. You also have the ability to place a crew flag. Others can join your crew by pressing the E button near your flag. Keep an eye on the pre-game timer, pirates. Once it's done counting down, the game starts. Via this map, you and your teammates need to decide what island cluster you want to spawn in. After spawning on your ship, you'll need to set sail. For this, you need to use these pulleys. You can fold them down or up to adjust speed, but also rotate them to put them in the correct wind direction. This will give you a sweet speed boost. To steer, you need to take the wheel. You can also press space to drop the anchor while steering. To retract the anchor, you need to rotate the capstan. Crew members can help you to speed up this task. Now that you know how to sail the ship, you better navigate to some islands and get some loot. Use the map by pressing the M button and right click on an island near you to set a marker. On the islands you can find weapons and these resource crates that you need to smash open to get the loot. You can also look for treasure chests that contain rare weapons and loot. When you're done looting, you can teleport back to the ship by holding Q. When you're on a teleport platform, you will teleport faster. Once you're back on the ship, you better drop your loot in the deposit chest. This will distribute all your items across quick access points on your ship. You and your teammates can now easily grab some loot by pressing the E button near one of these points. Don't try and keep all the loot for yourself, you landlubber. If you get eliminated, you will drop all the loot you're carrying. Always keep an eye on the dead zone via the world map, but also the timer at the right top corner of your screen. If your ship is stuck in the dead zone, it will take damage and you will eventually sink. Now it's time to get and do some combat. First, you need to spot enemy ships on the horizon. The crow's nest is perfect for this. Use your binoculars with the B button to get a scoped view. Once another crew has been spotted, you need to try and sink their ship. You can do this by firing the cannons or boarding their ship and pulling their cork. In a battle, your own ship will probably also take damage. You can repair damage by using your hammer and wood. At all times, keep an eye on your water level. When your ship's hull is completely flooded, it sinks and your crew is eliminated. You can get rid of water in the hull by using the pump. Don't panic when you get eliminated during the battle. As long as your ship doesn't sink, you and your crew mates can keep respawning. Now go and set sail, pirates. When your ship is the last one afloat, you win the Blazing Sailors match. Good luck, scallywags. 